the nervous system. The nervous system. It is known as the control center of the body as it directs the other body system. It is responsible in controlling, monitoring, and coordinating all body parts and processes. It is also responsible in receiving information from the environment and makes a specific body parts act on that information or stimuli. The human body is able to respond to stimuli from the environment because of the nervous system. Stimulus is anything that elicits a reaction. The two main parts of the nervous system. The central nervous system, the brain, and the spinal cord. And the peripheral nervous system, the nerve cells or neurons. The central nervous system control the body when it comes to awareness, movements, sensations, thoughts, speech, and memory. Brain and spinal cord. Brain. It is made up of billions of nerve cells. It weighs about 1.25 kilograms and has a whitish pink appearance with a wrinkled surface. It is protected by the skull and meninges, a three membrane that envelop the brain. The major parts of the brain. Cerebrum, cerebellum, and the medulla oblongata. Cerebrum. It is the largest structure of the brain. It is responsible for controlling speech, memory, emotions, intelligence, reasoning, thinking, and sensations. It is divided into left hemisphere and right hemisphere. The left hemisphere controls the right side of the body and the right hemisphere controls the left side of the body. It has four lobes. The frontal lobe, movement and speech. Parietal lobe, responsible in touch and taste. Temporal lobe, responsible in hearing and smell. And the occipital lobe, responsible in sight. Cerebellum. It is the second largest part of the brain known as the little brain. It is responsible for balance, posture, and muscle coordination. If the cerebellum is damaged, the person will be paralyzed. The medulla oblongata or brainstem. It is found at the base of the brain. It connects the brain and spinal cord. It controls the basic life functions such as heartbeat, breathing, and digestion. Other important parts of the brain, the thalamus and hypothalamus, small brain structures found between brainstem and cerebrum. Thalamus is a pre-processing station for the many nerve impulses that pass through it. Hypothalamus. It plays a vital role in homeostasis. It also regulates the secretions of many hormones. It also regulates for food and fluid intake, sleep and wake patterns, fatigue, and emotional states such as anger, sadness, and joy. The human body is able to respond to stimuli from the environment because of the nervous system. The spinal cord. It is the extension of the brain. It is the main link between the brain and the body. It is made up of gray matter which contains the bodies of nerve cells and white matter contains the nerve fibers. Its function is to serve as pathways of nerve impulses to and from the brain. It also serves as a reflex center, reflex action, and automatic response to stimuli that does not require any communication with the brain.
Reflex action also enables the body to act instantly and protect itself from further harm. It is also a delicate organ that when a part of it is damaged, a person could be paralyzed. The peripheral nervous system. Its function is to connect the central nervous system to the different organs, limbs, and skin. The nerve cells or neurons. It is the basic unit of the nervous system. It is responsible in collecting and carrying nerve impulses. Impulses relate to the brain and sent back for proper action and reaction. The three types of nerves. The sensory nerves, the motor nerves, and the connector nerves. The sensory nerves. The brain and spinal cord receive messages from the different parts of the body through the sensory nerves. The motor nerves. The brain and spinal cord may send messages to body tissues and organs to take appropriate reaction through the motor nerves. The connector nerves. They connect the sensory nerves and motor nerves and carry impulses between them. Parts of the nerve cell or neuron. Dendrites, cell body, and axon. Dendrites. Receive messages and carry them to the cell body. Cell body. Where messages travel down to the axon. Axon. They transmit messages away from the cell body to the next neuron. Synapse is a gap between neurons since neurons do not touch one another at their ends. The message is passed on the next neuron through the release of the neurotransmitters. Did you know that? When we smell something delicious, we salivate because our brains subconsciously react to the smell of that delicious food and preparing our mouth to eat. That's why the secretion of saliva increases. <laughs>